blizzard of debt. That story top in tonight's two minute drill. Our panel we have Penn Financials Matt McCall, FTN Financials Lindsey Piegza, and in DC now, Democratic Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall. Let's fire up the clock. A new warning tonight for President Obama to dig the nation out of debt before it's too late. The Democratic director of the Congressional Budget Office says we have to cut the trillion and a half dollar deficit now rather than merely freeze current spending, as the president said we should do it in State of the Union. He also says that Social Security is already running a deficit, $45 billion for 2011. Social Security will run deficits permanently for another 26 years before they run out of reserves entirely, according to the CBO. So tell the president what department you want to cut now, Matt. <laughs> what department to cut now? I think Social Security is a great place to start. I have to agree with How, that. How, though? By raising the retirement oh, age? We have to raise the retirement age and also realize that uh, to the young people out there right now that they cannot rely on Social Security, too. I think that's extremely important for people to understand. That's not going to save us money, but at least it's <laughs> realistic. Raise the age. I mean, come on. People are living longer. People need to work longer. That's where you start, though. That's By just the way, a start. you think we'll ever, you'll ever get a Social Security check? No. And I, and I, Do I, you think, no. Lindsay, you'll ever no, get a Social I, Security No, I really don't. Really? No. And I tell my clients that wow. too, David. <laughs> wow. So do we start with Social Security? Well, I, I think we do. We have to tackle the big three, Medicare, Medicaid, and, and Social Security. But look, what's so interesting is the CBO reports that we're about 60% in terms of debt to GDP. But if you look at the IMF number, which includes future entitlements, yes. we're closer to 85%. Yeah, oh, it's, it's awful. So the I mean, time it's just is awful. now. But we Leslie, can't put it off any I'm further. I'm kind of shocked that two out of the three panelists here uh, say they don't think they're ever going to get a Social Security check. Okay, count me in, guys. I don't think I'm going to see <laughs> really? one either. And, and you know what? Although it's unattractive, left wow. or right, nobody wants to talk about cutting Social Security or Medicare. It's not popular, especially when you have 10,000 people Ryan's a day becoming seniors it. for 19 years. Paul Ryan but has talked about it. He put together a plan. Now, the Republican leadership is backing away from it. They don't want to touch him with a 10-foot pole right now because it's uh, the third rail. But we'll see what happens. Well, the number of Obamacare waivers suddenly soaring last month. The number of unions and businesses getting exemptions from the congressional, the controversial law going from 222 to 733 in just one month. Nearly a million workers are now exempted. Is this more evidence that Obamacare needs to be repealed and replaced? And i got to tell you, Lindsay, what I can't stand more than anything else is elitism. And when you have an elite group that don't have to do what everybody else has to do, I think there's a problem. Oh, definitely. And, and the way that you pick these, basically going in and cherry picking union memberships, certain businesses that are exempt, look, the justification for this waiver was to protect individuals that were either going to face reduced uh, benefits or skyrocketing premiums. Right. Now, this is exactly what Obamacare had originally promised was not going to happen. Leslie, it kind of reminds me of some of the bad banks that got TARP bailouts that shouldn't have, like One United, for example, just because they had friends who were congressmen who were able to get them the TARP money. When you have these, these connections getting you things that the rest of us can't get, it rubs me the wrong way, doesn't it, you? Well, I got to tell you, if we're talking about mini med packages like with large corporations like McDonald's, this was an area that I don't think, honestly, even the Democrats had looked through in pushing through, quite frankly, and I said too hastily, uh, the health care reform legislation. The president already said if something is broken, needs to be fixed or tweaked, he is willing to do what needs to right. be fixed and or tweaked. But repealing, da David, yeah. to repeal something doesn't mean you replace right. it. If you repeal it, I it understand. means you throw and it There out. are some things like 1099 I think that both the president and Republicans could agree on. But again, the whole elitist aspect, that if you're friends with folks in the White House, you know, whether you're a big corporate exec or a union, you get an exemption. Yeah, what happened to the change that we we're bringing to Washington? Right. It's just politics as usual. Exactly. It's, it's exact, and it's actually almost worse. I think, I think right now, if you're on the side oh. of Obama, you can get whatever you want. All right, well, despite the cold, many parts of the nation, global warming alarmists continue to claim that big ice formations are melting, but German and American research is just reporting that the Himalayan glaciers are actually getting larger. Now, does this discredit the UN scientists who until very recently were saying exactly the opposite, Leslie? No, because if you look at the glaciers in our own in our own country, Alaska, the state of I cannot see that from my yard, by the way, but in Alaska, <laughs> sorry, couldn't resist. Uh, in Alaska, the the glaciers are. I give to this fund to save the polar bears, and they send me all of this, you know, all this information. And and so the Himalayas are one area where they may be getting larger, but that is not that's all the right, exception, but, not but the rule. Right again, now. some places are getting larger, some places are getting. Guess what? That's the fickleness of nature. That shows that there's not a consistency here, right? There's not a consistency. And, and how do you look at this? How do you really study what happened thousands of years ago? So there's a lot of speculation in my mind. And if anybody who lives in New, in New York, yeah. this is not global no, warming. No, Come on. Not global For warming. For every glacier that is retreating, we see that, that scientists can prove another is advancing or holding steady. So what we need to do is take away 
any sort of further funding yeah. or, in, you know, specifically take away Al Gore's a trillion Nobel dollar Prize. tax and cap on no, the basis of not. this size. All right, coming up, it's time for buy, sell, or hold. We take the names and stories in the news. We treat it as if they're stocks. Would you buy them, sell them, or hold them? Well, if you hope to attend this year's Super Bowl, you got to be ready to part with some gold on StubHub.com. There are just about 2,000 ticks available. And prices range from 2500 for a seat in the upper corner above the end zone at Cowboy Stadium. That ain't too bad, but $22,000 is how much it's going to set you back for a lower-level seat on a 50-yard line. The face value of the tickets is about 600 to 1200 bucks. So the Super Bowl tickets, Matt McCall, I can see you buy one of those for $22,000. <laughs> well, if the Eagles were there, I would pay, honestly, whatever would. it takes. I would pay anything. Uh, but I'm selling this because th what's happened with the Super Bowl, the real fans aren't going anymore. This is more corporations, celebrities. It's not the fans that actually love the game. Well, had Chicago gone to the Super Bowl, you Ooh, would have had a ticket, oh, right? Because I, you're I, a season ticket holder to the Bears. That's right, that's right, but they didn't. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to be a sell on this one. This the fans aren't going. I agree with Matt. It's Leslie, too 20, 22000 Thousand a pop. What do you think? I'm a poor liberal. Sell. <laughs> I, I don't have the money. Come for on, <laughs> come on. You're a rich liberal. That's rich at heart. Anyway. I'm selling this too. And scoreboard, you sell. Well, if you're lucky enough to have a ticket for the Super Bowl in Dallas, you might want to think twice about driving to the game. Parking near the stadium is going. Get this for upwards of a thousand bucks a pop. That's more than the list price of some of the tickets for the game, as we just mentioned. As an alternative, fans can park at a nearby amusement park and shuttle in for 75 bucks, but a thousand. Now, okay, yes. say that Philadelphia had won and you paid 22,000 for a ticket. Would you buy a parking spot for another thousand? No, but you know what I would do? I'm gonna buy this because this is entrepreneurship. I'd hire a couple people, rent some cars, and I'd, I'd have a, <laughs> Ooh, a nice service idea. and take people there. I would take the shuttle for 75 bucks. I you think, think it's, it's a sell? Reasonable. Leslie, buy, sell, or hold. I'm selling. I mean, how many kids could we feed for a thousand bucks? Please, well, this is, hey, are maybe we in a that's bad what, economy? Maybe that's what they're going to do with the profit. Who knows? Oh, I'm a I'm buy sure. this. Matt, I think you're right. I think it's a terrific <laughs> idea. And Scoreboard says it's a sell. Say goodbye to the color-coded terror warnings. The Obama administration plans a simpler two-tier system. Imminent threat, elevated threat. Only those two. The new warnings are going to have information about the specific threat and will tell you what action to take or what to look out for. So revamping the alert system, Matt? I think it needs to be revamped. I don't know if the two color is, is really what I want, but I really don't understand it. I mean, is it orange? I mean, it's, it really doesn't get the point across in my mind. I'm a buy. I think we need a simpler system. Orange, yellow, I'm not sure uh, which one's higher. Leslie, buy. I'm a sell. We don't need any system. We should always be on guard because there are bad guys out there. They're trying to get we the good guys. And if we're going to have color coding, could we put something like fuchsia or no, mauve? Oh, or is no, we red? can't. No, <laughs> the answer is we can't, Leslie. I'm a buying this change. All right, Walmart is dropping plans to build a store near a Civil War battle site. The retailer won local approval to build a store near the Wilderness Battlefield in Northern Virginia, but residents and preservationists want the court to stop it. Walmart decided to avoid the fight. So Walmart leaving the Civil War side, is that a buy it's a, sell? It's home? a great PR move by Walmart. I think it's yeah. the right move as One well. One buy. I agree. I, I think it was a good move. Two buys, Leslie. Take your battles. I definitely buy 30,000 people approximately lost their lives there. It's respect. I think they did the right we thing. We all agree on this when it's a buy and scoreboard says it's a buy.